Yeah, that's right. I had to go back and see if it was started again. I just re I really wanted y'all to see this here, um, because this actually I let me see if I yeah not kill myself by do this. Uh, I have a little tight space here, but uh, hopefully we can get a little sounds here. But uh, this thing here, I actually the government sent me a. I don't know. Uh, the government sent me a stimulus check, so I took two hundred dollars of it because that uh, Leo James had such a bad taste in my mouth that uh, I was like, you know what? The uh, the IYV these guitars I got. This is I think this is my third one now. Um, the first one I was completely blown away. The second one was just it was that um, that like Jaguar style with the with the weird tremolo in there, and that one was under 200, so I was like. <laughs> but anyway, this thing, um, so I will tell you, from the Leo James to this, it's night and day. Like, serious night and day between the two. Um, this thing, when I went to adjust it, there's room to adjust it. To me, that's what makes a guitar. That the, the adjustments are fully functional, that everything that is put on it, you can use. You could not do that. And a little bit update with that Leo James one. I, I hit the trem bar. I don't use very, very much at all uh, in my playing. That's just not the way I play. So I, I, every once in a while, just like to make sure that it, everything works. Springs, doink! It's like, what? You're kidding me, right? So on that Leo James, I you know took it apart and it, it, the springs had snapped off, and um, it wasn't even because of me lowering the action. I, it should be lowered more. the The block in the the, the block for the trim bar uh, is not low enough, or it's not cut correctly inside. I'm not sure which either that or I'm going for the very very cheap. Um, fix here and I'm waiting on more springs and I'm hoping the springs will have just that little tiny extra on the end where you stick it into the block that you, you won't need anything else but again that's just my bitching and moaning about that stupid guitar and I still have to fix it and to me that's not selling a guitar that's selling a kit or that's selling you know uh, uh, something uh, uh, something that needs to be modified that it should be sold as that not as a guitar this thing i took out the box i literally just like uh twist and a half to lower it the action that was it the fretboard neat was dry as hell so I, I it was pretty man i had to make it prettier so i darkened it up a little bit with a little oil because it needed it and uh that has been all i have done to this that's all it needed that's why I was so disappointed with that other guitar. came late last night and I couldn't make them uh, wanted to wait until today to make another video anyway but uh, 
Uh, this thing came late last night, and I have a, a doctor's appointment, so that's why this is a little bit earlier today. But um, I do have great reviews if you put out good stuff, man. And this is, to me, this is, you know, uh, this is this is what a, 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 an inexpensive guitar should be. Um, it even has binding on the that holes. Is it perfect? No. It's you can see wood here, but that's what I would expect from an inexpensive guitar. Not you cannot play it. Anyway. <laughs> And this was one of those ones where I, after I, you know, lowered the action to where I like it and all that, I just kind of sat here playing it all night because it's fun. But anyways, so yes, uh, they sold out on Amazon already. They had 10. I got one of them. Woo! Anyways. Just want to let y'all know that I do have good reviews for guitars if they make amazing guitars and is IYV these 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 folks they they make a nice product. Um, anyways, I just want to say hey, how y'all doing? Always look up. I'll see you then.